what's going on, you tubulous? EXO coming at you here inside the garage, about to get busy with the side project Corolla. We just got our hands dirty, getting into our 818's 50,000 watts. Huge sound system, but we're toning it back a little bit for our daily driver today. Just something quick and easy with replacing our door speakers. We're gonna chuck in some nice NVX V-Series. The speakers that are in there right now sound kind of scratchy, especially on songs that have lots of bass. So we'll hopefully remedy that problem in this video with a nice little quick and easy replacement. Now, before we just start yanking the door panel off and accidentally break something, there's a few areas that we need to address first, like some window control panels, a couple hidden screws, and our tweeter pod. Once we remove all that, we'll be able to actually remove the door panel. As much as we want to just take off the speaker grills and just replace the speaker, we actually have to remove the whole panel. But it's actually not too hard at all. Alright, everything's looking good underneath. We've got our plastic sheeting in tip-top shape, keeping out all the wetness. But what's not so great is how Toyota decided to mount these stinking speakers. Not only are they the ugly ducklings of the group, they chose to use this cheap plastic housing which has quite a mounting depth and then riveted it into the metal instead of using hardware. We'll have to use a little bit more force and drill these points out. It'll add just a little bit of a pain in the butt, but at the end of the day, our speaker rings, which we bought in our previous installation video, will fit perfectly. We picked them up from Amazon, did a nice sealant around the edges because there were some gaps in there, and they will fit perfectly. With the speakers taken out, you can pretty much see why we're upgrading these bad boys. Feast your eyes on this plastic hunk of junka coming in at seven ounces, all crusty and dusty. So it's a good thing that we're replacing it. But what we still need to remember is that this plastic housing is gonna go directly up against the metal. So we don't wanna have our new adapters be rattling and sounding like crap. So we need to copy this with a gasket. We'll hop into our spare second skin box and apply some of that special rope that we used last time and make sure that our new adapters stick nice and firm against the door. Just pounded out the last of our rivets. Now we need to find some hardware to attach our speakers to the door. And I think we're gonna go right into our spare bin and go with these guys right here. They were originally made for this aluminum bus bar, but I think it'll be a perfect size for these speaker adapters. We got a nice tight seal on the speaker ring, no gaps around the edges. You can really tell that that second skin rope did a good job of adhering the metal to the plastic. But now we're gonna go one step further to make sure that our speakers sound as good as they can with a speaker tweaker. We're gonna take a little second skin speaker tweaker and mount it directly behind the speaker because as you can tell in our application, there's just a tiny little strip of stock sound deadener there. So this will help disperse the back waves coming from our speaker and give us a better sound quality. Well, 
We'll give these puppies some time to dry and move on to my least favorite part of installing door speakers. Ah, and that is running new wires through the door, through the grommet, back to the amplifier. It's just a pain in the butt, but I've come to make it a little bit easier. And I hope I can make your day a little bit easier too with a little trick that I found out. I haven't seen anybody do this before, but it basically entails taking a very big zip tie, taking the ends of your speaker wire, sticking it in the end where you would ordinarily click through the plastic, and then you can actually fish through grommets, holes, and different areas that are difficult to access. All that I do is dislodge the original grommet so I can get the tape off it and fish through a new run of 14 gauge wire. And then my big little sticky here can do the hardest part, which is getting through that hard to reach area up into the other point where you can yank it out the other side. But I've come to learn that this method works best for me for sure. Well, that was pretty easy, wouldn't you say? All wired up through the door, no problems. If you guys have any helpful tricks and tips that you use to get your wires through tight places and crevices, let us know in the comments because we're about to take off the rest of the panels and run the wires to the end of the car where the four channel amplifier will be mounted. Luckily, we already cut them to length so we can just go ahead and start getting them tucked away nice and neatly. decided to keep everything matching with another set of V-Series speakers from NVX. This time we got the 6.5s going in the door, but in the rear deck we have the 6x9s, which also sound really good. These speakers have been a great experience for me ever since the Impala install way back in the day. Sounds great. Love it. I like how it's a polypropylene cone. That way, if it does get a little bit wet, including the surround being rubber, it won't be the end of the world. Even this cloth surround and this paper, it absorbs water way quicker than this would. And being 50 watts RMS, it'll be a welcome upgrade from these stock speakers. I mean, hell, look at the magnet of this damn thing. It's damn near inexistent with a plastic frame and everything. Very chintzy, it's like two ounces. Now I know you're probably asking yourself, why aren't we just sticking a component set in the doors and calling it good. Why are we choosing a coaxial speaker? Well, to tell you the truth, I just wanted that added extra oomph with another tweeter instead of taking out and replacing the one that we have now with just a new one. So now we'll have two tweeters and overall it's a pretty well-built speaker for the price. So it should last quite some time installed in that location. All right, guys, we got our terminals crimped and our wires ready to be connected to the speakers. We just gotta be very careful while attaching them to the speakers because the spades that stick out can kind of be bent really easily. So we'll do it very carefully, wire up both doors and see how she sounds. speakers installed now before we get the door panel back on there and have something go wrong and have to take it off we're gonna test everything beforehand this is my home audio amplifier we got her plugged into the outlet in the garage left and right speakers and we're just gonna go ahead and do a little test tone see if everything's working we got like 250 Hertz just so it's not so annoying I don't want to blast a thousand Hertz at you looks like we've got some noise brewing over here fellas 
that's a good channel over here on the left and over here is sounding off as well looks like everything is connected the right way and just before this we checked the phasing of left and right with a little 9 volt battery we hooked it up and this one was moving outward and the left channel was moving outward as well that means everything is working correctly and since we got everything playing I'm kind of curious how this song from Navi D sounds let's just go ahead and get a test drive before we put the fans on yeah We got all the panels back in, everything's looking good, fitting back the way it should, and we are now going to give a, a little bit longer of a test run than we did last time with some Navi-D beats. Yeah! do it for this video those NVX's are ripping in the doors really surprised at how clean it sounded I was like expecting a little bit of plastic rattling but I to tell you the truth I don't think I'll really even have to touch this 
Way to go, VSP 6.5s. What do you think? Definitely a lot better than these cheesy sons of bitches. Goodness gracious, look. Do we even get a closer shot of that? That is a plastic basket frame and like a little tiny freaking sweet tart of a magnet. I can't even believe it. But hey, now we got some upgrades and I'm feeling good. And if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to slap a nice old thumbs up. Always trying to keep it entertaining for you guys. We've got lots more in store for this thing, including getting a new head unit. At first, I was just gonna keep my stock head unit, but since it really cuts off my low bass hardcore, and we're gonna be doing a four channel amplifier, I figured it would make things a heck of a lot easier if I just bit the bullet and bought a doubled in head unit. So that's what we did, so stay tuned for that video coming up. But at least we did get these mumba jumbas right out of the door, these shameful looking things. Look at this, what the hell? I can't even believe they said that was sufficient from the factory. But VSPs to the rescue, good old NVX. If you guys are interested in anything that we used in this video, tools, supplies, speakers, links will be in the description. And if you do so choose to buy something that you liked, it will help support the channel. So thank you guys so much for watching. Until the next video, this is EXO signing out.